Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to the weekly Link to the Past Randomizer Async. As you can see, I definitely kind of uh, worked around this layout a little bit. It's still the same background and everything, but like, I made the screen a little wider, I shrunk the uh, stuff on the sides. That way, the chat doesn't look freaking humongous. <laughs> and I actually, I kind of like stretched the chat a little bit, but it doesn't look too bad, so I didn't mess with it too much. But yeah, hope everyone is having a good weekend. I know that this is a uh, special weekend for a lot of people because of uh, something that's happening tomorrow that will not be named. In fact, even mentioning it will completely um, completely restrict all the more important things happening tomorrow, so I won't even mention it by name. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope everyone is uh, doing well. We are getting ready to do the weekly Link to the Past Randomizer Async. A couple of interesting things about this Async, though. Um... I'm actually getting a little worried about this because it's not it's not taking my controller inputs whenever I'm um, off the window, even though it does say it's taking background inputs, so I don't really know why it's not working that way. But um, as far as the settings for this week... Where are they? So today we have an open key sanity, seven crystal fast Ganon with a zero crystal Ganon's tower, which means Ganon's tower is automatically unlocked. Uh, shop sanity, assured sword, which means you start with a sword, or a sword is guaranteed at uncle. It's one of those two things. And then starting boots, lamp, moon pearl, mitts, flute, and 420 rupees so it's kind of like you know we'll give you some items to start there's a lot of stuff you can access spear zero but uh as far as like what's actually like available and what you can find you have to just kind of find the best way to navigate the world and uh, do so in that manner Anyway, um, what I was trying to get at is that um, I am using my new controller. Um, I got actually an Xbox One controller, or an Xbox One X. I don't know the technical name, because who knows the technical name anymore, but I did, uh, I did actually get one. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work. Yeah, I can't do background inputs for some reason so this is going to be kind of nope I didn't want to delete there we go so yeah we'll see how this controller is I don't think it'll be too bad Just something I'll have to potentially get used to. Mm 
controller does definitely feel different from what I'm used to, but I think I'll be able to cope with it. Ooh, bombs. That's awesome. I might actually go through escape, honestly. Although it is open key sanity, so maybe that's not super wise, but... You know, I did get that cape, though. The thing is, so much is open, so following that cape may not be that wise, if I'm being honest. Do some other stuff though, at the very least. Be careful. Ooh, Master Sword. <clears throat> I think the biggest adjustment is that the start button and the select button are kind of small and they're kind of like not located at the same distance as I'm used to, so that's something I'm gonna have to, you know, get a feel for over time. Frick! Come on! Ugh, not a great start. Should have done it safer. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Is this M S U O G K H or Final Mix? I'm pretty sure it's Final Mix because the file was K H 1.5. So I'm guessing that's Final Mix. God, it's so annoying I have to do all of this again. But, what are you going to do? When you have a new controller, it's something you have to kind of get used to. And I just couldn't use, like, I, I like the replacement I used the last two weeks, I just couldn't use that anymore. I was tired of, like, just randomly moving in the wrong direction. Just couldn't cope with that anymore. Okay, Dark Palace. What do I have, by the way? Oh, right. Okay, I'm gonna need to fix that. Because, yeah, if I ever go to my tracker, I'm not going to have the way to update it, so... I have no idea why this is not running background input. It's like try Yeah, pretty much, honestly. Not an incorrect, like, assumption.
I want to go down there. Probably not until I have the small key. Shield. <clears throat> Need to remember that shop sanity is on too. Do, do, do. That's a good item. Oh, no, I can't. I can't track her that, because if I do, I'll lose connection. I really don't know why it's not. I mean, the input says that it's in background. Maybe I have to check it and recheck it because it's a new controller or something. I don't know. I could try that, I guess. Powder. Pearl, though. Let me try it really quick. Nope. Nope. I really don't know why it's not working. That normally is what does the trick. to research that after the stream or something. Well, I hope you guys don't mind the tracker not being updated during the course of this stream, but again, that's just going to slow things down tremendously if I keep trying to update that. Because normally I try to do that like while I'm like leaving a room or doing a screen transition, but... It would just be so much extra clicking. I just don't think it'd be worth it. Okay, already. I wish that the rule said it would be like already activated. I know what I'm doing, I just don't want to like click every single time just to update something that honestly I don't really need myself I kind of only just have for the convenience of you guys which I know sounds terrible but like I don't know what else to do I don't know what else to do 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 give me that <clears throat> I'd say that was about a free heart when you consider the rupees that were also there. I did get powder, I'm pretty sure, so I think I can actually do... Do I have a bottle? I do not. I can actually do this.
trying to think of where to go next. I guess I'll just keep going around the south shore, honestly. Bombs. Don't need that. If I had Mirror, I could start working on both Dark World and Light World. But, alas, I do not have that. Hey, Enzo, how you doing? Also, I think I used Birdo last week. I'm not entirely sure, but... I figured that after the Mario Kart announcement, she deserved to be used again. Gotta use my girl. My girl, Birdo. Doing well playing Minish Cap? Yeah. Minish Cap is on the service, the Game Boy service, so lots of people can play that now. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who had the game anyway. It's a Zelda game, but it's a pretty good Zelda game. I know I didn't talk about the Direct much um, yesterday because I was focused on minigame recording, but um, I'm pretty excited for, like, I'm pretty pumped for some of the things they announced, honestly. It wasn't super packed, but like all the things that were there, I was actually really, really happy for, so. I think I'm gonna really love, uh... Some of the things we'll be getting over time. <clears throat> I think... Honestly, I think they might add Diddy, but I don't know if they're going to add Funky or Dixie, though. I know I know you kind of like, it's like, come on, like, add Funky. He was in Wii, but, like, I, I just have a feeling that maybe they won't. I feel like Diddy's more likely because he's, like, more... He's more of a veteran than Funky Kong. Hi, weirdo. Wow, thanks, Kess. Don't, don't forget, Cass, you're a weirdo, too. You're, you're a weirdo just like the rest of us. You're not getting enough of that one that easy. <laughs> At least there isn't a release for Advance Wars Remastered. Yes, I agree. I'm really excited for that. Honestly, like, um... Since I'm probably going to be in the middle of doing something on Twitch... I might actually do some Advance Wars streams uh, on my YouTube channel. That might be what'll start, like, you know, working on using that YouTube channel for, like, an additional streaming platform. Because I don't, like, the thing about Advance Wars is that, like, I've played both games, like, on my YouTube channel before. There's not, like, a super need to do them again. So just kind of playing the game casually on my YouTube channel could be a good way to kind of start with that, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know, though. We'll see what happens. Like, I honestly don't know how long Tunic is going to take me when I start on that. And, like, I don't know if I want to start, like, Sonic Frontiers right afterwards, but... There might be some other things I want to show off, so we'll see. I know Cirque, like, <laughs> you don't need to school me in Advance Wars, I know the series. I still have to do uh, Days of Ruin, although I think it's called like Dark Conflict or something. And other pieces of the world. I'm not really super crazy about that game, but I, I need to also just play it again. So. It may be better than I remember it. Hey, Snow Yoshi, I'm doing alright. How about you? Is 
Sorry again on my tracker. I'm not going to be able to update my tracker during this because for some reason background input is not working for my controller. So I'll need to research that problem a little more. Could have also done like auto tracking, I guess. Maybe I'll look back and then how to get that set up. Good playing Mario Party 7. Well, that's a pretty solid game. I don't have any big keys, right? I just have three keys for Palace of Darkness. I technically could also beat this place now since I do have the Harapot trick. I'm just not going to do it because there's lots of stuff I need to find elsewhere. Plus, GT is technically available right now, so I kind of want to see what's in there. You got Luigi's Mansion 3 yesterday? Yeah. Luigi's Mansion 3 is a really solid game. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play of it this year. It'll either be this year or next year when I do that. I don't know yet. Um, if I got a fourth Palace of Darkness small key, I'd be, like, questioning life for a little bit. Okay. Well, since I have the... I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely missing my other controllers now, but... Like, like we said earlier, I'm just going to have to break this one in a little bit. Let's see. Your mom was transported to another hospital so you can start rehab. Well, best of luck to her. Best of luck to her What's uh, in all things. I hope she uh, has a nice recovery, has a good rehab, and things go well for her and you. Okay, so we got a bottle. That's nice. Beep, beep, doo, doo, beep, beep. Hey, Ringra. Yes, you are here in Kingdom Hearts. I think this is... I want to say it's the same MSU I tried that one time, but we're not running into any, like, issues this time, so... I think that's a good sign. I was kind of inspired by you, Ringra, because I know you said that you like really wanted to hear me use this MSU again. And honestly, I really like Kingdom Hearts music, too, so... It's like, you know what, I'll give it another shot, and it seems to be like it's working this time. She may not be into games like us, but she does appreciate the love. Aw, well, I'm glad to hear that. Are you going to watch the Super Bowl? Hell no. I have games to play and more important things to do. I'll probably hear about it, though, because my dad's a huge football fan. Oh, there is also a shop at the bottom. I'll make sure I do that before I... Especially after I get the 300... You know what, I'll do it now. It can be like a very easily missed location too, so it's probably for the best I get it out of the way. Well, I already have the lamp, so there's no reason to get that. Um, eh, I won't get those either. It's 200. It's 200 too much. So yeah, I will have to go through this cave again, unfortunately, but that's fine. 
I'd rather have the peace of mind that I check the shop, honestly. Yokoshi Mamura did a great job, yep. <laughs> there's a there's a guilty pleasure song I have in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, there's a song I really, really like. I have a feeling it might play during one of the dungeons, so I'm not going to say which one it is yet. I feel like I maybe even said what it is, honestly, before, but... Luigi Simpson 2. Oh, shoot. I just want to get inside Ganon's tower. Okay. We good. Now there's not a lot we can do here because I think I need to hook shot for a lot of the stuff to be in logic, but... I'm going to to check out one or two chests. Especially if one of them's a... Uh, two items we can get. <laughs> and see, it's fast Ganon, so we don't have to complete this tower either, honestly. Fairy, so I can use. Look, shot. Not quite. I'll try the bomb jump once or twice. further. Like, I know this can be done. I've done it before. further apparently doesn't seem like I can but there that's gotta be it I was looking for, unfortunately. Well, see, Rangra, here's the solution for that, though. 
not playing Parallel Worlds. See, it's so easy when you think about it from that perspective. You'd rather play Warrior Land 4 Parallel Worlds? That'd be interesting. That's something else I kind of want to do is like for YouTube streaming is I want to go back to like certain games that I played that'd be like, oh hey, maybe I'll like do like a hard mode of this or something at some point. Because I know that Warrior Land 4, like the levels change a little bit based on what difficulty you play on. Trying not to die here. find much on the mountain, honestly. Just a little disappointing. I know desert's actually open. Um, let me do this. I'm going to turn in the bottle, then I'm just going to go to the dark world, I think. Okay, well, that was a good find. Cane of Samaria. That actually means I can do a few more things in Ganon's Tower now, but... Really just one, so maybe not. Hey, Princess Sally, how you doing? Is your prince treating treating you well? I'm, I'm kidding. See, I make, I make dumb jokes when I'm uncomfortable. Monstro. I get dumb joke. Oh, that's cool. Town.
Okay. Can't do anything else in here. That's fine, though, because there's some more shops I can take a look at. So much free money. Probably don't even need to get those anymore, honestly. Whenever I hear this song, I just keep thinking of Pinocchio saying, Get me out of here! Um, I don't remember. I thought it was my new PC, if I'm being honest. Um, hold on. What am I looking at? That's what I want to look at. Oh, three crystals. That's something. I really don't know what caused my computer to run the way it did, if I'm being honest. Last time I tried using this MSU. And it was just the emulator. Everything else was running normally. It wasn't just the computer, it was just the emulator. Ganon's tower. Well, actually, no, I can't. Hook shot and fire rod are still preventing more of that and bow, more of that from being in logic. Okay, we'll know what Skull Woods is. Skull Woods is a pendant. Of course it is. I've already got most of the items from there anyway, so... Wait, what? 
don't know what I was stuck on right there. That was weird. Well, that's good we have the small key to Thieves Town. We don't have the big key, though. So I don't know if there's any really... I guess the first four items are quick, so there's no reason not to do this. Technically, I could have beaten it before, but... Halloween, this is Halloween. Do, 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 do. Just make sure, yeah, I can't do anything else here. I am the clown with the terror away face. Actually, let me do this first. don't remember what the medallion was for Turtle Rock. I want to say it was Quake. Quake kind of looks familiar. I don't. I really don't remember now. Meyer could be completed at this point, so... Okay, thanks, Krawick. Maybe in the future, don't do that if I'm, like, thinking hypothetically, though. Because this is technically a race, but, like, I mean, I was pretty sure it was quick anyway. It's not like a tournament race or anything, it's for fun, but... I know some people can be kind of sticklers about that. Um, I really enjoyed the Nintendo Direct. Um, Pikmin 4 looks amazing. I can't believe the game's coming out in July. Like, I mean, it's been a long time since 3 and 4, so they've had a lot of time to work on it, but still, like, you know, after not knowing anything about the game, and when they showed, like, just an incredibly brief trailer last year, and then just seeing what it is now, it's, like, incredible. I think it looks awesome. I'm hyped about the Advance Wars date. That's coming out in less than two months, or in, a, in about two months. Definitely going to be playing a lot of that when that comes out. Uh, wasn't expecting the Metroid Prime remaster, and that's something I might get at some point. But, you know, not entirely focused on that right now. But, it's again, it might be a way for me to go back and finally replay and beat 
Metroid Prime. A game completion that's sor sorely lacking from my library. So, looking forward to doing that at some point. Uh, the Game Boy games, uh, really pumped for that. I think there's uh, some great stuff coming for that. Some stuff I really want to play. And some games I think are great to have in multiple ways as well. So, that'll be great. So, definitely hype for the Game Boy stuff. Playing some of them like multiplayer is going to be the big thing though. Like... Kirby and the Amazing Mirror multiplayer, that's going to be incredible. Like, that's just a game who, like... You know, playing that multiplayer is so such an annoyance to set up, and you'll be able to do it so easily on the service, so... That's going to be freaking awesome. Uh, don't really have much to say about Tears of the Kingdom... Like, I'm gonna get it, more than likely, but, like, you know, I, I... As much as I like Breath of the Wild, I'm still, like, more about traditional Zelda. Over open-world Zelda. So, it's not high on my priority list. It is cool that it's still coming in just, like, three months, though. Slav, I, I still don't know about GameCube on Switch, if I'm being honest. But, you know, I thought they were not going to do 64, so, you know. Me being wrong is maybe not a bad thing for you, so. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Who knows what will get announced. Okay, so we got that. So, uh, there's... I want to very quickly do this the dam your highlight was professor Layton that, that's pretty cool I'm not I haven't really played any of Layton games so I don't really have much to comment on that if I'm being honest but still it's nice for those who love those kinds of games I, I'd say Nintendo DS is more likely than, um, I'd say Nintendo DS is more likely than GameCube, but, hey, I was wrong about 64. I could, I could be wrong about GameCube, too. Thieves Town and Eastern Palace. I almost have all the uh, information. There's the big key to Thieves Town. How the DS touchscreen work in dock mode? I have no idea. I don't know. They'll figure out something. I mean, it was on the Wii U, so... You know, there is... There are implementations of it available. Other things to do. I forgot that doesn't work.
Hey, me and Odin played Super Circuit the other day, and it worked pretty pretty well, honestly. I think, like, I was kind of talking about this with Bowser Girl. Um, or no, I think it was Odin I was talking to this about, but... I feel like Game Boy Advance should, in theory, lag less than N64 Online. Not just because of the graphics, but because of... Since, like, you're loading individual screens. Like, for each person who's connected to their system, not for, you know, the same system. So I feel like there's less that needs to be accurate there. Now, that's just me, like, theorizing. I don't know the technology or the hardware behind it, but that's just, again, my theory. I just realized I don't have the three items in the back yet. Warrior Wear Touch is impossible. With the right stick, very hard to play with a mouse. Eh, I'm not surprised. Birdo's coming to Mario Kart 8. That's right, she is. She is coming to Mario Kart 8. I'm pretty happy that she's coming to Mario Kart 8. She's my girl. No, Ringra, she's mine! No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We can, we, we can both have a Birdo. Well, Ice Palace can technically be done now. Do I have keys for Ice Palace? I do have a small key. I might do that. There's a couple of places I could go. No, you didn't, Rangra. You probably did. I don't know. You're smart, so... I am going to have to do the bomb jump, though, if I do Ice Palace. You know, Ice Palace is a crystal, so... I do like that, though. I like that Birdo is also going to be, like, a multicolor character as well. Which makes sense. I mean, she has multiple colors in the Strikers games. and Even just in the game she was introduced in. There's a pink Birdo, red Birdo, and a green Birdo in those games, so... Damn, I wish I could get that mail upgrade. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't go to Ice Palace because I don't even have the flippers yet. And I'll need the flippers for Swamp, so I may as well not look there. More information... Turtle Rock. Do I have any? Hair is a crystal. Okay, well. Where am I going to go next? Um, I'm going to see what... I'm going to see what Meyer is. Let's see. I could have probably also gone to Hera right here, but... <clears throat> okay. So I just need the big key to complete Meyer, but Meyer could also be a pendant. Ganon. Lack of top items is starting to rear its ugly head. Yeah, a little bit. Hookshot is one I definitely need. Bow is something I definitely need. The sooner I find those, the better, but... question is, when am I going to find those? 
I honestly kind of feel like going into Mire, because even though I don't have the resources to beat it, there's still a lot of items there. So it may not be a bad choice. I'm going to go to Desert first, though, because I can get everything but the big chest, or the big key stuff. I forgot what was down there. Oh boy, Agrabah. I should have figured that that's what they'd pick for this one. There's the Hyrule Castle. Wish I had that earlier. Uh. Oh, there's the blue mail. This way I won't have to turn Birdo green because I kind of dislike the green color the most. Ah, uh, no. I wanted to go to Meyer. This is a this is such a supreme gamble because again I don't have the means to complete this, but it could end up being a pendant too. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad check. <clears throat> I'm gonna check something again really quick. Oh, Turtle Rock is the other pendant, so I don't have to complete Turtle Rock. So it's either between Desert and Mire. I think those are the last... Like, one of them has to be the green pendant. And if so, that's actually more information than... I thought I had. And I can easily get that information by just going to Sahasrila. It's the map. Maps are the ones that tell you. Crystals give you um, boss information and also the item counts. Toy Story 5, huh? Do we need it? No, we didn't need a 4. Apparently 4 is not too bad, but like, that doesn't mean we didn't need it. Honestly, of those movie announcements, I mean, I haven't seen Frozen 2 yet. And I technically haven't seen Toy Story 4 yet either, but... I'm actually kind of excited about the Zootopia 2 announcement. I actually really enjoyed Zootopia. Wow, you'll never find the mitts there in a normal scene. You'll never find the mitts there. Because you technically need the mitts to get here. <clears throat> I mean, maybe it's for the best. Like, for some reason, Bowser Girl really doesn't want me to watch Toy Story 4. <laughs> Actually, no, no, that's not true. I think she just told me, like, you know, you can watch it if you want. Just keep in mind it's not going to be as good as the other three movies. What was it that she didn't want me... There was something she didn't want me to do. Or watch or something. 
I don't remember. <clears throat> like, I think she even said, like, yeah, it's not too... Four is not too bad. Velm, I don't... I don't think she keeps up with that stuff, so... That's not what it was. One thing I do remember she she telling me to never watch... She told me to never watch Shrek the Third. Like, we watched the 1, 2, and 4 together, but we never watched the third. And she said, let's just never watch that. And I'm like, okay. One less thing for me to watch, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, I can't go that way. <clears throat> There's one more item I need before I... I'm essentially done here, which I don't know if I really got anything. I got the mitts, but I technically already had them, so... Okay. So I have a mushroom. I can turn that in, but... You're not missing much in Shrek 3. Yeah, fair enough. That's essentially the vibe I got from Bowser Girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna turn in the mushroom. What the hell? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. After I get the, this item, I'm gonna do the back of escape, and then I'm probably gonna go back to dungeons so I can complete now. Actually, I'm not too far from the... Might as well just go this way normally. Actually, I actually haven't been to like the eastern area or Palace of Darkness yet. The... Hey, Zar, how you doing? Misery Meyer. Okay. It's like, as someone who's actually 100%ed sticker, sure, you're not missing much? Okay. I'll trust you with that, then. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go to Hera first. Because if I do this, this technically means I may not have to go back to the mountain ever again. So I might as well clear this first, since I know it is a crystal. You're old today, Slim. Um, you're 30. Oh, wow. To be honest, that's actually older than I thought you were. But, um... Happy birthday, nonetheless. GLHD, good luck, have donuts. Um, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I could have a donut. Been around old tech slim like eight tracks oh damn you've seen it all i mean you're only five years older than me honestly <laughs> you're not that much older it's how fast time goes these days I mean, i'm sure i'll be 39 before i know it i'll wake up tomorrow and i'll be 39 so like that's how fast time moves these days.
What is this seed? An hour in and still no bow, no hookshot, and no rods. Well, it's a seed that actually, like, it started with a lot of items, of freebie items, which means a lot opened up. And I still haven't gone over all the technical Spear Zero locations of this seed, anyway. Like, there could be one of those items just as a Hasrula this whole time. I didn't see you typo D. That's fine. I, pre I, prefer I preferred your version anyway, so. Do not fret. Okay, I'm gonna do Thieves Town next. Well, a lot of people are convinced that Pokemon Day will reveal the um, Gen 1 remakes for the Game Boy stuff, which. You know, it could be a thing. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, like, um... Say that, oh, there's no way in hell that'll happen. Because, I mean, it's definitely, like, happened before. Like, we got the Gen 1... We got the Gen 1 games on, uh... Um... Ugh. On the 3DS eShop, so... It can definitely happen. And then if they found out a way to do it, they could tie in the games to Stadium, which is also on the service. Now that's probably a bit more unlikely since I'm not sure if Nintendo knows the way to do that. I'm sure like, I'm sure some smart programmers and software developers can figure out the connectivity stuff, but um, all they have to do is just create like some place on the system to store that information. So I think that I think there's a possibility for them to come. Cause I mean they have the ROMs already. They have they 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 have the ROMs on 3DS. So they literally have no excuse to like say, oh we don't have them. They do. They have the they have the data. <laughs> They're literally just porting the straight games onto the system. If it does happen, they might disable save states for just the Pokemon games. Probably. I mean, you can't use save states when you're doing a multiplayer for the Game Boy. So yeah, they, they, they disable certain things to make them work, so... I'm only 26. I feel like you need to sit down after only three hours of standing. Well, that's longer than me, probably. Although I need to stand more, probably. There's Hookshot. Okay, Hookshot... Honestly, Hookshot doesn't really get me anything. The three chests in the mountain, but that's really about it. Oh, more Ganon's Tower, too, technically, I guess. Maybe I will go back up there. That way I can just cross those out. He'll be 27 and 27. All right, I can't. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to the mountain. Maybe a waste, but at least I'll know. And there's a lot of items in Ganon's Tower. If a bow is there, that's gonna give me direction of where to go next, so... I might as well use that. You can't wait for the uh, redo of Advanced Wars 1 and 2 boot camp. Uh, <laughs> are you saying like a redo of those Let's Plays? Or you mean just like the games themselves, like to play them yourself? Because I don't know if I'm going to Let's Play them or not. I might play them on like YouTube, like YouTube streaming. But I don't know about like an actual Let's Play of them. Realizes there's a Splatfest. Oh my god, I forgot the game! <laughs> That's actually relevant because of what's happening tomorrow, Slav. <laughs> you gotta give that guy credit, though. Like, he still went to church. Like, he still went to church, despite the fact there was a football game on. That's true, that's true. That did happen, didn't it? You can't trust me with, with anything I say, so... That's more than fair. I could actually do quite a bit in here. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through here first. Because I, I can do everything except the fire-locked stuff and, of course, the boss. I didn't realize I had all four small keys. There's slippers. That's something I need. That's uh, Swamp Palace. That's Ice Palace. Why were you originally hesitant of Let's Play in Radiant Dawn again? Because at the time, like, it was just so much of a longer game than Path of Radiance. And, like, you can see that from just, like, the Let's Play parts of Radiant Dawn. Because I think Path of Radiance was when I still had the 11-minute uh, time limit. And even when I had, like, 30-minute parts, I even remember I had, like, a 50-minute part for Radiant Dawn. It was still, like, a longer in terms of video numbers. Plus, it was your college laptop tet days, computer... T yeah. I had a lot of issues, so... Because, like, Path of Radiance was 130 parts, I believe. But, like, all the parts were also 11 minutes. So if I were to do the Let's Play again, it'd be a lot shorter. But Radiant Dawn, I had it unlimited time, and that was about the same length of video, like the same number of videos, but exponentially so much longer. Funnily enough, Path of Radiance is a game I wouldn't mind redoing. Because I feel I know a lot more about the game now than I did when I first played it. Like, I don't think I even knew, like, how to calculate attack strength or uh, attack speed in that game, which I definitely do now. <clears throat> so 
So I feel like I'd just, in general, be better at the game. I'd be a little hesitant about doing YouTube streaming of Fire Emblem, but, like, I mean, I also just mentioned I do that for Advance Wars, so it doesn't really matter much. I just know there's, like, a lot of, like, very, like, out there, like, Fire Emblem and Advance Wars streamers. And I don't really want to, like, get associated with those people. I kind of want to be my own person. So, I don't know. I know there's like a lot of drama um, going on with a lot of those communities. Uh, least favorite and most favorite Fire Emblem games so far, Slim. Uh, in terms of what I've played, uh, favorite Fire Emblem game is either um, Fire Emblem 7 or Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I love both of those games. Three Houses is also pretty good. I also really like Sacred Stones, Radiant Dawn, and Awakening. And um, I also have like a deep appreciation for uh, Genealogy of the Holy War, which is FE4. Uh, least favorites? I'm not really a fan of like the original OG Fire Emblem 1. I never like completely finished Fire Emblem Fates. I finished Conquest, but not the other two. Or no, not Conquest. I finished Birthright. But not the other two stories. That was kind of a eh, blemish for me. And um, oh my god, I do. I'm not really a big fan of Thracia Seven Seven Six, which is uh, Fire Emblem Five. It's just a really brutal game. Okay. So flippers are the only thing we're getting from here, apparently. Which I don't really hate, but... Okay, I do have to go back up, though. The thing is, there's still more I could get inside Ganon's Tower, which is why I don't necessarily want to go back to Swamp and Ice right now. Even though that seems like that should theoretically be the play. The problem with Racia 776 is just resource management. There's like not a lot of shops and you don't get a lot of gold. But there's also a mechanic where you can like capture enemies and like steal their weapons. And while it's a, that's kind of a cool way to do certain things, it's just kind of tedious. And there's like just a long stretch of the game, like near the beginning, that's like really difficult. Because you don't get like a good resource management and you get like a lot of weaker units and it's just really hard to get through that part of the game. about Valkyria Chronicles. However the hell you're supposed to say that. Okay. Well, if you have a Nintendo Switch Online account, I definitely recommend trying Fire Emblem when it releases there, um, if you're new to the series. You know, I, I wouldn't say it's like the easiest Fire Emblem game, but I think it kind of, it's a great foundation that introduces you to a lot of the mechanics. And I don't feel like it's too hard, honestly. Damn it. I was, I was low. Oh, I have a fairy too, so we're good.
And it was the first Fire Emblem game I ever played, so... And that got me deep into the series. Well, you might get a Switch again. Did you, like, have a Switch and get rid of it or something? Golden Sun, yeah, that's also going to be on the service, too, which is pretty hype. I mean... Truth be told, Fire Emblem is just a pretty tricky series. You definitely need to kind of, you know, you need to kind of have your thinking cap, not really a thinking cap, but you just kind of need to be prepared for lots of things. Hey, heading those with Guest Slim, lost interest in Nintendo Netco. Eh. I mean, that's fair. Like, I think it's. Here's the thing. I don't have an issue with Nintendo netcode. But there's no excuse for it to be as bad as it is. Like, I'm fully willing to admit and agree with that. There's no excuse for how bad that it is. Like, it's literally connected with pieces of string, not like... Wire or anything. They have the big key too. I can I can actually check the rest of this dungeon, with exception to like the right side. I, I can technically. I just don't want to do it. See, I actually have a bow now. So with this bow, I can get all but one crystal. I'm still looking for a big key. It's either desert or mire. I don't know which yet because I don't know which one's a pendant and which one's a crystal. I'm trying to keep some of my arrows. Big key to my... I'm gonna see if I'm in go mode. I could be in go mode now. First of the Fire Emblem game, you made a video talking about Fire Emblem Elites. Probably. I mean, Fire Emblem Elitism is still, like, a problem these days. <clears throat> but, like, it, I think it's less of a problem because now there's, like, extremists on the other side. <laughs> but, like, extremists are never good regardless. Okay. Uh, we are in go mode now. So I can just finish up the rest. Oh, wait, no. No, we're not in go mode. I don't have the big key to Eastern. Or the big key to pod. Okay, we're not in go mode yet, sorry. Sorry for getting you guys excited, but we're not in go mode.
If I don't have those big keys, why am I going here, though? pirate ship from the Neverland world. If I remember correctly. I don't know why I'm checking this, though. If I have other dungeons I can look at fully, this is probably not a good play, honestly. I shouldn't be doing this then. I'll do this. You know what? I'm glad I got that first because I'm going into Ice Palace, so maybe that was good that I checked that. Is it possible to beat Shadow Mar Dragon with just Marth? I think it is. I hope he would be able to be able to do that. He is the main character of the game. <laughs> Is it possible to beat Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon with just Marth? I'm Generic YouTuber 612. Like, I'm not trying to diss people who, like, do, like, challenge videos. Like, I've honestly been interested in doing a challenge video myself. The thing is, like, all those challenge videos just sound the same. <laughs> they have, like, that same commentary style, like, all the time. So it's easy to kind of tease a little bit. Beat it with just Roy. Well, here's the thing, Casanova. You can't do that because Roy's not even in that game. Actually, now that you mention that, I think that is actually true. I think Marth would actually get overwhelmed by the units, now that I think about it. So, that, I think you definitely want to use Goto in the first FE game to relieve a lot of the stuff in the final chapter. Come on. I, I'm going to blame that on my controller a little bit. The controller's been fine, it's just, again, breaking it in getting used to it. I'm trying not to make excuses, but I'm going to. Oh, 
Oh, behave. Oh, I needed the small key for Swamp. Okay, I'm glad I came here first. <laughs> that could have been really bad. So I forgot that I needed the small key for Swamp as well. Which I might go to Swamp next. Big key to Dark Palace. Glad I came back here. So I just need the big key to Eastern now. That's the last thing I need. Then I am in straight go mode. I might actually go back to pod after this just because I don't want to have to keep saving that portal up there. Plus, Palace of Darkness has a lot of items too. And I can technically get them all. But I'd also like to just be able to finish it and not even worry about that if possible. Hell yeah, we're in go mode. Well, in that case, let's just finish this up. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, have everything for Swamp. Have everything for... Mire now. Have everything for... Yeah. We're good. So, I think I do want to go to... Pod first. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron finishes soon, if I'm being honest, just because Aaron's a good player. He knows what he's doing. And I've had some stumbles here and there. for doing this. There's a method to my madness. Hey look, my portal's still here. Now I don't have to go through that weird little hedge maze again. I'm surprised, like, I just had my three go mode items. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Now, I'm, I'm not going to get silvers at this rate because, well, reasons. I mean, I'm not finishing Mario's Picross today. There's no way in hell. It takes like two hours to do a whole world sometimes. And we're, we don't even have like the max puzzles yet for Wario mode. Wait! 
Oh, right. You get two gloves. I'm like, wait, I already found where the mitts were. Okay, not quite. Wait, what's a thing? I have a feeling that, like, if this race is going to be very close, Aaron might beat me, like, by just, like, a minute or two because of the damn deaths I had early on. Because of controller weirdness. And just the general slowness I had at that point. I should be able to finish this before the two-hour mark, though, which is good. I always like when I complete a seed before the two hour mark. Because Eastern won't take too long, Go Mode Swamp won't take too long, Mire. I mean, I've already gotten everything except just finishing. The only thing that the sea can give me now that would help me would be, uh, um, silvers. Birdo here, so what's the sitch? The sitch is I'm in go mode, so I'm just trying to finish up this seed. Oh my god, really. I didn't realize I was that far up. It's a terrible seed, PTM. I can't update my tracker because, um, for some reason, despite enabling background input, it's not working with my new controller, so I'm not gonna just 
Oh, I have been updating some of the things. I'm in go mode, though. I just need to get two more crystals. You blame Kingdom Hearts? I mean, uh, logically, you would. Okay, I was right. My guilty pleasure song is in this game. I love this remix so much, though. That doesn't surprise me. There's some pretty long levels in Crash 2. But, I mean, maybe maybe you're trying to say that, oh, that's impressive. But, yeah, it is. I do too. Like, honestly, Under the Sea is kind of cringy, like, normally, but. I just like the instrumentation of this. Doing this just to see the... Nope, no silvers. Anyway, PTM, I don't know if you'd have any, like, expertise on this. But yeah, I'm using a, uh, Xbox One X, Series One X, whatever, controller. And yeah, for some reason it's not, even though background input is selected, it's not registering. So I don't know if you'd know anything about that or not. Could just again try to figure out auto tracking again. Wait, Shock Ninja, are you raising your hand to say that you know the answer, or are you just raising your hand and hello? Uh, 
Oh, hello. Okay. Hi! <laughs> it was just very timely with what I said, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> I honestly probably should have done... I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Is this Kingdom Hearts music? Yes. Kingdom Hearts MSU pack is what I'm using today. I may actually finish this sub 150. I will have to do Silverless though. Not Clayton. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Not Clayton. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I forgot I started this dungeon. Okay, get the mirror out. Well, Aaron is still not finished yet. He's still gonna snipe me though. Dying to bow and chain guard at like the first two minutes of the game. You never feel good when something like that happens. I mean, Drift Looney, I'm going to be honest with you, it's a, that's a pretty cold take. <laughs> I don't think there's a, anybody who actually loves the kazoos in New Island, except maybe, you know, Nintendo themselves. Okay.
I'm pretty sure it's just the fi uh, final battle in Kingdom Hearts. Probably more Mario Picross, Marissa. Well, I beat Aaron. He must have had trouble finding some of the items. That or, like, I mean, I pretty much go-moded, like, four dungeons. Well, not really my. No, I did check all of Meyer beforehand. Three dungeons, pretty much. Oh, right, I can't frickin'. I can't frickin' do the whole pause, like, the thing I've been complaining about, the no background input. Uh, let's see. What's going on here? Up, oh, Aaron finished. Finished a minute after I did.
Looks like Aaron had the same go mode I did.
He's checking something. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 